Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this is another hair video, but this is something completely different from anything I've ever done. This is not a wig. No type of wig whatsoever. These are extensions, but they are not your standard clip-in extensions. I don't wanna to give too much away, but I'm working with a company called Full Shine today and they sent me some extensions to review and this is the final look so before we get into the video if you're new i would love to have you join the family so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload i won't keep you guys waiting any longer because this was a process but the end result is absolutely amazing and i can't wait to show you how i got it so if you want to see how i installed these extensions on my own Stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I am not going to lie. I have been putting off doing this video for a little while because honestly, I'm a little nervous because I have never used anything like this before. Today, I'm going to be... I'm going to be trying out a brand called Full Shine and they do hair extensions. These are 100% human hair, but the extensions are tape in. So I have done extensions before where you just part your hair, you clip them in with the little combs and then you're good to go. These actually have tape. This is the packaging. So this is what it comes in. I did open this and look at this already and I've stared at it for probably a couple weeks now. Um, it does talk about basically how you should take care of it, how you should use coconut oil or almond oil two to three times a week to keep your hair moisturized and deep conditioning helps the hair to stay shiny. Avoid using shampoos and conditioners with sulfates or strong chemicals. The only thing is that they say when you put these in, you need to have clean hair that is free of product. Now I washed my hair, but I did put in my normal detangling products. So I have in my leave-in conditioner and I have my heat protectant because that's what I do for my hair. So I'm hoping that it's not too much. I do feel like my hair looks dry. Um, but I didn't curl it or do anything to it because I didn't want to style my hair and then have to apply more heat Styling the extensions with it to make it blend. So it does say that you can sleep in these You can wash your hair Do not wash your hair until after 48 hours of the extensions being installed Wash your extensions two to three times a week brush your hair before you get in the shower I didn't even think you could do that because these are tape so this is interesting. We're gonna see how this works. So when you open the package, this is what comes inside. And these are the extensions. They are wrapped in a hairnet. This is how the extensions come. So get close so you can see this is the tape at the top. Now the instructions say that you part your hair, you take the backing off, you put a piece under and then you put the other piece of extension on top and you squeeze them together and that's what seals it in. So your hair is between two of them. The extensions come 20 pieces in a pack. I, this is from Amazon. This was sent to me. Um, they come 20 in a pack, but I was sent 40 if I wanted to do a fuller look. But I'm going to start off with just the 20 to see what I can do. So just to give you a little bit more details about the hair, these are 16 inches and these are in the color 1B. This is not like my hair texture at all. So I will have to apply some heat to get my hair to be a little straighter because I just blow dried it and I've wrapped it, but I don't, like I said, don't put a lot of heat on my hair. So this is the texture of my hair. It is kind of like a blowout kinky straight. I don't like flat ironing. My hair is kind of kind of thin, not thin, but you know the word, like it's just not very thick. So why am I having trouble thinking right now? So I don't like to flat iron, fine, that word. Um, so I don't like to flat iron my hair and it just makes it flatter. So I'm going to start 
in the front of my hair. I don't know how I'm gonna do the back. That is the other thing that kind of had me like, how am I supposed to do this? But we will see. So I'm gonna leave my hair out at the very top and then start the extensions underneath that so that I don't have to worry about any of the extensions showing any of the tape part showing. I am super nervous, but at the same time excited. So I'm gonna part this little section. Am I gonna leave? Yeah, I'm gonna leave a little bit out here. So I'm just gonna put that behind my ear to keep it out of the way. So this is gonna be the first section that I tape. And it does say do a very small section of hair. So I'm thinking that is small enough. This is very time consuming, but I also thought this was something that you would like put in and have to take right back out. But if you can put these in and leave them in for a couple days, it might make it a little more worth it. So I'm gonna start with this tiny little piece of hair right here. It needs to be thin so that the hair, this may not be thin enough actually, so that the tape can actually stick to each other through the hair. This feels like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do the back. We're gonna try to figure it out, but so we have this thin little piece of hair right here. You know what? I'm probably good for punishment. We're gonna try the bigger piece just because I feel like my hair is fine enough that it should be okay. And if we mess up, we'll just take it out. Here we go. So I have two pieces here. And I'm gonna take the backing off. So when you take the backing off, now you just have this black with the shiny part here. And I'm gonna start underneath. Feels about right. This is very sticky. And I am just going to press this against my part, not right on my hairline, and just press it into my hair. So that is the first piece taped in right there. And then I'm gonna pull, my, push my hair down and just make sure that that is stuck to my hair good. See right now, I don't really feel the stickiness through the tape. So that may be a indicator that I need to go a little We'll go a tiny bit thinner just to be sure, but we'll try that. So now I'm gonna go in with the next piece. I think I put this a little too close to the front of my hair, but we'll see. And we are going to press this right on top of the other. and squeeze them together. Now this back piece, I do feel like it slid down a little bit. There's definitely gonna be a learning curve with these, but so that's the first piece. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell myself, don't put it so close to the front and don't put it so close to the part so that it can hang down, but it's not hard now that we got that out of the way, but I definitely can see, and if you only get 20 pieces, it might be better. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip and then do a section and see. I can always go back and fill that in if I need to, but we're gonna try that for right now. See, like right now this looks a little too close to the front, but I think we will be okay. And then I'm gonna do another small section. One thing I need to check is if these are reusable or not. I, based on how you have to put these in, I don't see how they could be, but so we're gonna do this. And I'm just gonna push my hair down into it and see how that works. And I do feel the piece through that one a little bit, so. I'm gonna go back with the next piece. This is a cool idea. I'm just really wondering, like, can you legitimately 
wash your hair with this in? I will be very surprised if this sticks with shampoo and everything. Maybe a co-wash? Like that's already four pieces, but it feels like they're in there. I'm gonna do one more on this side and then I'm gonna move to the other side. Right off the bat, I can tell you there is no way that if I only had 20 pieces, I could do my whole head and these come 20 pieces in an order. So we're gonna go with this piece here and leave the front of my hair out. Almost like you would with a U-part wig or something like that. I don't know how I'm gonna do the back of my hair because I mean, I guess maybe I'll be able to feel it, feel it out, but. So I'm just gonna do this last one on this side. I can, I feel like this video would be days long, not really, but if I tried to show you guys every single part, but I will just kinda, I feel like that's sliding. I will just show you real briefly and I'm trying to really press these together to make sure it adheres. Yeah, see, so that might not be the best way to do it, but we're going to go with it. So if I put it underneath, I need to put it a little bit lower. So as you can see, the front's covered. You can't see the extensions and I don't know, close up, I feel like you can't tell too bad that it's not the exact same texture, but this is kind of cool. It is time consuming, but honestly, if this lasts for a long time, this might, this might be a little nice. See, yeah, this one's a little too far in the front, but it also is not, I don't think that's gonna move, but I can just cover it with my hair, I hope. We'll figure all that out in a second, but I'm gonna work on the rest of my hair and then I will show you guys the final look. I'm trying this time a different way and see if I put it on the top first, if that'll make it better. Cause the top, I can see what I'm doing. It gives me a better guide maybe or not. We will see. Yeah, that definitely works better. Now, the only thing is putting it this close to my scalp, if I wanted to, well, it might still be all right to be able to put it in a ponytail or something. So learning curve, that one is definitely in there a lot better than the other. So doing good. I'm trying to decide if I want to put one more right now. I think I do at the top. I got 16 inches because I wasn't sure and it looks like it's layered because of how I'm stacking them, but I think it's definitely a cool idea. I'm just like, wow. Never would have thought of something like this before. So one thing I can say right off the bat, I had the wrong idea about like, oh, well I need to put a lot more hair than what the instructions initially said, but the hair's not gonna adhere, the tape's not gonna adhere to each other on opposite sides if you have too much hair. I was thinking I would need to put more strips than what I'm doing right now, so that's why I was using more hair, but that is not right, so don't do like me. So that's where we are gonna stop with the front, I think. I'll see how many I have left. This one is not in the best place, but we are just gonna make it work. But I mean, right off the bat, I have instant fullness, instant length, and the blend is not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I'm literally worried, like, is this going to slip out if I pull it? So, yeah, this is what we have so far. This is 16 inches, and this is in the color 1B. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest and then I will come back and style everything on camera so you guys can see right now. I'm literally just trying to like push the tapes together and make sure they will stay, but I feel pretty confident. So I'll be right back. I can't even tell y'all how long it's been, but my lights are flashing, which means they have been on for too long. This is definitely something you should try to do with help because getting the back was really hard. What I started doing, I tried to part as small as I can, but I didn't have a mirror. So I would part, stick a piece, and then try to pull up as much of the extra hair that wasn't taped to the extension and then put the other piece. So I looked at the back. I feel pretty good about how it looks, but it just, it was a lot more time consuming and I am missing one tape. So there might, there has to have been either I was shorted one or something was stuck together and I didn't realize it. I do also think that I don't know. At first I was thinking I should have went with a shorter length, but with the way it layered out, I don't think so. I don't know. I might trim it a little bit, but the biggest part will be just to make sure that there are no parts that are showing, especially here at the top. I ended up with about four pieces left after I finished and then just went in on the sides like right here and put those in because I did the front. I did the back and then I had some for the sides. So this is what we have. I think this looks absolutely amazing. It's just very time consuming. So if you're not one to want to sit and do this, try to get a friend to help. I didn't have any help, so I stuck it out and I love how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and style it. I'm going to grab my wax spray just because this texture normally does not hold a curl and my hair is gonna curl fast and I wanna try to keep it as seamless as possible. So I'm gonna grab the wax spray and just add some loose waves and I'm gonna be done. I also went ahead and grabbed my Sebastian dark oil just to help with the flyaways for my hair. I used my flat iron on, not my flat iron, I'm sorry, my hot comb on the front of my hair just to make sure that it was as straight as I could get it. Lord, I don't miss those days with a flat iron, with a hot comb. I don't know how we used to let our parents do that because the burns on my scalp, but just from that little bit were not fun. So I'm gonna take my T3 and I'm just gonna pass this through my hair to try to get it to have a little bit of curl, but also kind of blend better with the extensions. But this is gonna be more like a wave than it is a curl because honestly, you girl is tired. I don't feel like it. And I don't understand how. It says that you can wash your hair with this, but I don't see myself being able to like scratch my scalp and do all that stuff. So I'm kind of at a loss. Plus with my hair texture, I have to blow dry my hair. I have to curl it. Oh, I'm splitting my extension right here. Um. I have to blow dry my hair and I have to get the root of it or it's gonna be nappy. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work either. I do also wanna say that in the directions, it does say that if you have fine hair, you'll need two to three packs for a full head. And if you have thicker hair, you'll need even more. You'll need three to five packs. It says they're durable and reusable that they won't shed and they can last eight to 16 weeks, and that you should replace your tape every two to four weeks. It looks to me better than, and it's easier than doing like a, even doing a, um, a U-part wig or, I guess you can't beat a um, headband wig. That's gonna always be first, but just how this looks, how natural it looks, as long as you make sure to cover the tape because in the middle I think I went a little too high but I just have to pull some of my hair back if you can just make sure that's done this looks like my hair so I'm going to go ahead and finish curling these pieces you see what I'm doing nothing fancy at all just trying to give it 
a little bit of a pattern so that the hair can blend better with mine. And then that is gonna be it. So I ain't gonna drag y'all through this part. I will show you the end result when I'm done, but this is the kind of stuff that I wish my sister was here because she would probably love to do something like this on my hair or I would love doing it playing in hers. So I'm gonna finish this real quick and then I will show you guys the end, but this is about it. All right guys, so this is it, the final reveal. I put a little bit of the dark oil in my hair, still have a little bit of something going on right here with my hair sticking up for whatever reason. We are not gonna sweat that because it is like eight o'clock at night and I don't like putting extra heat on my hair if I don't need to. So extensions are in, I am very impressed. This, like I said, took a while, but show you the full 360 of how it looks in the back i did not spend a lot of time curling this i just wanted to give it a little bit more something to help it blend a little more and just i don't know kind of get an idea this is going to be great for new year's eve even though i'm probably not going anywhere i'm still going to dress up and have fun with it so thank you so much Full Shine Hair for sending me these extensions. I had no idea they existed. I'm curious to see how this is gonna look after I wash it because that's probably how I'm gonna have to take them out because they are stuck. I uh, brushed through, found a couple snags and felt my hair pulling. So this isn't gonna come out easy, which if you don't wanna do wigs and you want something a little more permanent, a little more versatile than just a clip-in. These are really flat. I know for sure I could put my hair in a ponytail, which is why I left around the edges out. So keep that in mind when you're installing them. Get help if you can, so you don't stress like I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not tried these before and you wanna check the company out, it will be linked in my description box. So please check them out on Amazon. This is awesome, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new and you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.